driving from Spokane to Tri Cities. I went over today to take my son. Uh, just like wipe the shit out of my windshield to get all these bugs off, and there's so many bugs already on my windshield. I obsessively like spray my windshield wiper cleaner and I'm constantly cleaning it when I'm driving. It's ridiculous. I obsess about it. I don't want to stare at bugs, dead bugs on my drive. Anyways, I drove to Spokane, took my son to go pick up his eyeglasses that arrived so he can get them adjusted and fitted and he can have his new prescription. And then we went to eat lunch. That's pretty much it. And then I dropped him off. So, like two hours. It's been like two hours with him. So, I drove two hours to spend two hours with him to drive two hours back. And it's worth it. It's totally worth it for me to see my son and just take him somewhere. I'm driving past Connell right now. really want to know what this building is. I passed it earlier and noticed it. I didn't notice it on my drive before. It's like, it looks like it might be a penitentiary. I almost want to drive over there, but I'll just Google it. Because I know there's a prison out here. But it's in Walla Walla. I didn't know they had one in Connell. But, I mean, the best place to have a prison is in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> and then when they look out their window, there's nothing to see. I mean, it is beautiful out here. It's not just nothing. It's, it's a beautiful desert. Anyhow. I noticed that... When I become a little stressed or feel a little off, the thing that brings me back to center, to myself, to peace, is listening to podcasts and spiritual YouTube talks. They just really ground me and take away all this cloudy fog that I carry it's like when I go through my day experiencing the energy of a lot of other people that are not very spiritually enlightened or very evolved um, it's like I pick up a little bit of smoke or a little bit of cloud kind of attaches to me as I go through and then by the end of the day I feel like I'm just this big cloud, you know, like everything's cloudy, my head feels cloudy, it's like I just walk through a burning fucking building and then I came out and I'm just full of smoke, I don't know if you are familiar with that feeling, but it feels really heavy and um, I, it makes it hard for me to focus, I just want to sleep. And there are a few ways for me to get rid of that energy. Um, one of those ways is just going out into nature and walking barefoot and grounding myself and just like letting the earth take away all this negative um, heavy energy from me. That brings me peace. Um, listening to spiritual podcasts where people are channeling higher powers um, and um, absorbing more knowledge. That brings me peace. I don't think it's just the talk that brings me peace, but there's always some sort of healing sound in the background. And some of those uh, spiritual teachers do that on purpose. And some of them will say, hey, while you're listening to this, we're also going to be playing some cleansing music in the background, you know, to heal you and to cleanse you. And I feel
feel like so I'm getting the message but I'm also getting this cleansing um, and I mostly listen to those while I'm driving um, or before I go to bed before I go to bed uh, lately I have been also watching and reading a lot of stuff about the immigration status in the United States and the border problems and that has taken me down a rabbit hole and that's for school right like I, I can't always live in the spiritual uh, place um, and connect with people that are not there or maybe I can I'm I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm kind of combining that where I'm becoming my spirit because I am becoming a lot more calm and grounded like most of the time I'm not getting um, riled up by a negative energy like I used to I'm not taking it personal I'm actually able to see it for what it is it's almost like I can feel where that person is coming from and almost look into their past to where that energy is coming from and then I can also look into the future of their energy and tell if they're ready to change that or work on that um, of course those people in my energy field that are ready I do send them uh, videos messages or I get chances to talk about those things with them I can instantly tell if I'm talking about something that someone doesn't understand, they're questioning, they're not into, and then I won't ever bring it up again because that that means they're not ready for it, right? Um, and they're in their they're stuck in their own belief systems of uh, I guess doubt or fear or not very open-minded um, but for those that I feel would benefit from it the most and are receptive um, I try to share as much knowledge with them as I can because I'm constantly learning and it's helped me okay it's definitely helped me there are some people in my life that are not receptive uh, that are close to me that are family and um, I really wish they were are like coming apart. Um, so the thing that I've been gathering the most lately is, well, there's like two theories, right? One is that we've lived several lifetimes in the past that have affected our present. And there's a lot of healing and work we got to do this lifetime so that we can make our future lifetimes um, more pleasant um, or so that we can just work on it in this lifetime to help other people and then there's another theory that we don't have past lives we don't have future lives we just have this life and all of our lives are running at one time like different stations and we get to tune into whatever station we want and live that life both of those make sense to me um, I almost feel like those two theories can almost be combined together to create the whole picture um, because these are um, theories being channeled from like higher beings to people here on earth and they're clashing right so it makes it confusing on this end to like well what do I believe which one is right right so it would make sense if there were like a like if we were like a television and we can change the channels or radio station and we can tune into other stations 
but it also makes sense that maybe we can tune in to past lives and future lives and like maybe the stations could be on a timeline um maybe they could all be running at once but on a timeline of like from zero to whatever how many lifetimes we've lived or if this is just the one lifetime we're living then how do we make sense of like like the Ice Age and Atlantis and all those things, you know, like if, if this is the only life we've ever lived, are we like going to sleep and waking up a thousand years previous or a thousand years ahead, you know, and do we just keep waking back up to this lifetime to check in? Like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Doesn't mean it's not possible. It's definitely possible. But then, um, why are we seeing the remnants of those past lifetimes in this lifetime? That part, um, I want I want more clarity on that part. Um, also, if that's the case, then when I had my past life regression therapy session, how was I able to tune into a past life? experience that may be affecting me now and then when I got like a cleansing how was that person able to identify other things in my lifetime for me you know like if it's my TV and I'm changing the channel then how do other people have access to my station don't we all have our own TV? <laughs> or did we just tune to the same channel, the same station? Hmm. Anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just uh, like listening to a lot of stuff and seeing how it resonates with me. Um, I do feel like there is some truth to tuning into um, what you want to become and believing and then just doing it and manifesting what you want in your lifetime. Um, but then, you know, there's the question of, well, I was born into poverty and I was raped and I starved and did I choose that as a child, you know, like, and then there's another theory that